let's talk to Lawrence in Essex. Uh, thank you so much. He gave us a ring on 0344 499 1000. You can do that too. We want to hear your calls and voices and thoughts. Lawrence, what do you make of what's going on politically at the moment? Well, I'm an ex-Margaret Thatcher supporter. Uh, I voted for her in 79. Uh, my father was a Labour a shop steward. So you can imagine what... Um, that can't have been an easy conversation. <laughs> um, but what's going on at the moment is, well, basically putting the two fingers up to the ordinary working class of this country. Why, why do you think that, Lawrence? Well, Theresa May was a waste of space over Brexit. She wasted three, four years. I could see the writing on the wall. I did vote for uh, Nigel. <clears throat> but, uh, Nigel Farage for the, for the Brexit party. Again. I shall be voting for Richard. And Rich- the, okay. the, the four, by-election, the four uh, by-elections that are coming up, the Tories will get a bloody nose from it. And they and they turn around with their arrogancy and they will say, well, it's mid-time blues. No, it's not. You're making the people pay for this pandemic where it should have gone on big corporate companies. I mean, the average person, the average working class person in here earns about 360, 380 a week take home. Come on. Yeah, it, it's, a, it's a big ask for a lot of people, isn't it? Uh, isn't it, Lawrence? It's a big ask. And, and, and I'm sorry, uh, Boris. I voted for you and gave you the majority of 80, and I will not be voting for you again. Everybody that I know, my colleagues, people that I work for, family, they're not voting for you, Boris. What is and it? I mean, why, this, this is this is Johnson that be gone again. Sorry, the Tories. Sorry, and don't interrupt do you. Feel, I do feel that there's going to be a breakaway party. Sorry to interrupt you, Lawrence, but let's talk about the Conservatives for a second. I mean, Boris Johnson was someone who, you know, a historic majority, fourth term in 2019. What was it about him then that you liked? What is it about him now that has changed, do you think? Well, <laughs> Oh, Lawrence, you, you've gone far away. We can just, I can just about hear you. Come back. Are you there? No, no. Uh, go back to whatever you were doing about 15 seconds ago. Please do that. Um, but for Boris Johnson, basically, fooled us all. Because he's, it's, it's the Tory party that matters. Not society and the people that vote him in. It's all about Tories. And I'm afraid they've pushed themselves too far now and, and taken the ordinary working class people for fools. And they'll be gone. I can assure you they will be gone in the next election and you will have a, a coalition government with Richard or the people will jump on the bandwagon and vote the Reform Party in. OK, uh, Lawrence in Essex, thank you very, very much indeed for your thoughts on that. Uh, he mentioned, of course, Richard Tice is running in the Old Bexley and Sid Cup by-election and uh, of course there are other candidates as well um there are uh, there's a labor candidate uh, in that uh, in that constituency the conservative candidate is louis french he was uh, he was uh, selected this week and the labor candidate is daniel francis uh, in that um constituency so uh just to say that there will be four by-elections in fact there's david amos's uh, constituency of course uh he was uh, k- killed someone stabbed him and that was a horrific incident and uh, that is in south end west uh, there's also going to be a by-election in Old Bexley and Sidcup, as we mentioned, after the death of James Brokenshire. Uh, there's also going to be a by-election in North Shropshire, where uh, Owen Patterson has resigned as the MP. And there may well, we're not sure yet, because Claudia Webb, who is the MP for Leicester East, she uh, is someone who is appealing her conviction for uh, many things, including attempting to, th- uh, threatening, I should say, to throw acid in the face of her partner's uh, friend, which was a pretty horrific thing. She's appealing that conviction. We'll see what the outcome of that is. Thank you also to everyone who's texted in. Uh, We have a texter here, Diana Harding, who says, uh, this is about COP. We spoke to Rebecca Pye, who is the Environment Minister 
uh, in the government, of course. And uh, Diana Harding has said the only good thing about COP26 and 24-7 rolling news is that the public sees the hypocrisy. No, Rebecca Powell, you're not bringing the public with you. Normal people aren't demonstrating. That was a reference Rebecca Powell made to the, the huge demonstrations that are on the uh, streets of Glasgow today. Rebecca Powell said that proved that the public is with her and with her thoughts on the environment. And uh, Diana, who's texting, uh, sorry, tweeting, has said that's not the case. Normal people aren't demonstrating. It's only a few like... Uh, Extinction Rebellion and Insulate Britain who get mainstream media attention. Thank you so much to Diana. Really appreciate that.